Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good today. I'm going to talk to you again about the 296T by Tip Top Audio and Bookla. A few people in the comments of the last videos I did have asked for a basic tutorial on it, or I've said that they don't fully understand how it works. It's not that complicated, but it's, it's just extremely flexible, so it's not very clear what it does at first glance. So I will try to demystify a bit all this in this video. We're going to start by how to choose your input. There's three of them, even all and odd. I'm going to plug a saw wave to all. It means that this saw wave is sent to all the band at once. So if I take my attenuator out all and feed it to my mixer, I will now be able to hear any of the bands if I put it up. and so on. If I take the even output, I will hear sounds out of this only on the even bands. Nothing here. Nothing here. Because those are odd. So I will have sound for this only at the odd output. Okay, so now I'm going to send two saw waves, one to even and the other one to odd. Here, as I am taking the all output, I have a mix of those two. This oscillator is heard through the even bands, and this oscillator is heard through the odd bands. Here, I have only this one, and here, I have only. This one. This one is tuned higher than this one, so it's easier to hear. Those two outputs at the top. Even and odd. Are full mixes as if we had all our sliders on top. But it means we could decide to have this here. mono and patch a stereo even in odd to left and right another channel and mix that in with what we had before so now we hear the odd bands on the left and the even bands on the right and the com filter even bands, full-on mono. It's a sort of parallel processing. So this was the attenuator output, the one where you use those sliders. I will put them all down so you can understand more easily the programmed out. Back with a saw wave to all.
I am taking the all output of the programmed output, the all programmed all. So I will have my full spectrum saw wave. What's happening here is that we will be able to scan inside all the bandpass. This is actually selecting a band. And then we can open up around that band multiple other adjacent bands. So if there is everything at zero, there's no sound. And it's also easy to be in, in between two bands. So here, for example, I'm just in between two high bands, so I hear nothing. But if I flip this, I open around it so I hear something. This allows to mimic basically any filter type's behavior. If we are in the low here, and that we send a control voltage to open, it will be like opening a fully closed low-pass filter. If we are somewhere in the middle, it will act as the width of a bandpass filter. And this as the frequency. And here can be some sort of a high pass filter. Those two things can be controlled, but it's also from this output that you can control individual bands. This is just a saw wave and four bands being modulated, that's all. Let's switch those modulations to program controls. This sequence is controlling the width. And I will mix an envelope and a row from the 245T. This control does have an attenuator on. Actually, an attenuverter. So we could be high and modulate backwards. From there, we can still take advantage of the even and odd output. Plug something to all while there's already something in even and odd, it doesn't work. That's good to know. To finish on the audio part of this, we still have all the individual outputs that can be processed each in their own other way. Put this one into a low-pass gate. You can send this one to act as an FM source on this 258. 
Also in the Lopez gate with a little envelope on it. Once again, a static saw wave and some noise. Some things used as FM source, some controls, and that's it. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> such a complex outcome from such simple sources. This is what this thing excels at. We haven't talked about all the envelope followers output that could be used for cross patching and stuff, but they are more useful when you feed complex things into this thing, which we'll do in another video, especially if you request it quickly in the comments. I will try to do it as fast as possible. I have plenty of other things in the work. If it's urgent for you, let me know. <laughs> I'll try to do my best. Meanwhile, I'll put some samples of this session on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.